Hey, what's up everybody? It's the Hyphenate here. And today I'm gonna to show you guys how to do a multi-cam setup in OBS Studio. This is gonna allow you to have multiple cameras, whether they're mirrorless, DSLR, pretty much any camera that has an HDMI output. It's gonna allow you to have multiple cameras going into OBS Studio so you can switch back and forth between different cameras, whether you're doing gaming, video podcasts, live streaming, etc. Now again, you can use pretty much any camera you want. In this video, I'm gonna show you using two Sony cameras. I have each camera going out micro HDMI to a full size HDMI into Elgato Camlink 4K capture devices. So here we have both cameras going into this laptop with two Camlink 4Ks connected directly into the USB ports of this computer. And now I'm gonna show you guys how to set everything up in OBS Studio. So here I have a blank OBS Studio setup. So a blank profile that I called Multicam Test and a scene collection called Multicam Test as well. Nothing's been done to this whatsoever. So the first thing we're gonna do is add sources. Click on the plus, and then from here, we're gonna add a video capture device. Go ahead and click on that, and then we're gonna call this Cam1. Call it whatever you want. I'm gonna press OK, and then from the drop down list, you can choose a connected device. Here you see currently the webcam is on me, but we're gonna drop down to one of the cam links and then press OK. And here you see one of the cameras is here on me. And now that we have cam one done, now let's go and add another cam. We're gonna add a video capture device once again. Click on that. I'm gonna call this cam two. And then once you press OK, choose the cam that you wanna add, the cam link 4K that I didn't select earlier, which is this one. And then now here we see the second one preview, press OK. And now you see that. So we have two different sources here. We have cam two, cam one. If I hide one of these, then you can see it goes back to me. If I unhide, it goes to whatever the top layer is under the sources. So if I wanted to reorganize these, I can drag cam one over cam two. And now this is the one at the top. And then again, you can hide, unhide, and if you wanted to make adjustments, you could actually change the framing. Like say, for example, I wanted to do some type of split screen. I could hold alt on this one here and you see the little red boxes on the corners and the sides. If I hold alt and click and drag, it actually trims the frame. So let's say, for example, I just wanted to make myself a little bit smaller then I could do that. And then not smaller, actually trim it to where there's a smaller frame. Now, if I wanted to actually make it smaller or bigger, I would hold control on one of the corners and drag, and this actually resizes it smaller or bigger and maintains the aspect ratio. So if you're dragging while you're holding control. So let's say, for example, you know, we want Amari big there and then just me in the corner, you know, we could do it that way or vice versa, or you could calculate it to be cut in half and we have a 50-50. And let's say with my layer, we actually wanna make it full screen again. We can right click on it and then go to transform and then put reset transform. And then now we're back to the full screen. Right click again, transform. Here you can see there are a lot of different things you can do here. You can center to the screen vertically, horizontally, to the screen, to the, you could rotate 90 degrees. You can do a lot of really cool stuff here. Now, so that's how you add two different sources into OBS. Now, depending on what you're doing, whether it's a podcast, gaming, you might wanna reorganize these windows in a different way. Now, one thing that you're definitely gonna notice with these two different shots is you see the color is drastically different from myself and Amari's. That's because I'm using two different cameras that have a different color science. So the camera that's on me is the Sony A6300 camera, which is a little bit older, has an older Sony color science. And then we have the Sony A6600 on Amari, which actually has one of the newer Sony color sciences. So that's why you see our skin and the background. It's, it's drastically different. It doesn't look very pleasing to have these two side by side. So when I actually do productions and we're actually doing live streaming, I make sure that I have the same two cameras so that way the look is pretty much the same. If you're using different generation cameras or if you're using different brands, one camera, let's say a Sony, one camera as a Canon, et cetera, you're gonna have similar situations like this where the color is gonna be off even if you have the exact same settings. So that's something that you definitely wanna be aware of. So this is how you add multiple cameras into one screen. Now, if you wanna switch between cameras 
and you want to go, let's say from cam one, cam two, cam three, etc., whatever your setup is, then you actually have to do that through the scenes, which is down here on the left. So let me show you how to do that. What we're going to do is we're going to rename this current scene. We're going to rename it and I'm going to call this hyphen it. And now here under the sources of this scene, we're going to delete cam two, which is on Amari. So we're going to have cam two selected and we're going to remove it. Are you sure? Yes. So now we only have one camera for the scene titled hyphen it. Now we're going to add another scene. We're going to call this one Amari. Now on this new scene, we have no sources. It's a brand new scene and we have to now add his source. So we're going to go to the plus, add a video capture device. Then we're going to call this cam two, or again, call it whatever you want. Press OK. And then now we're going to do the same thing we did earlier. Go to his cam link and then press OK. And now we have two different scenes. If you want to switch back and forth while you're live streaming or recording, all you have to do is select the scene with one click. If I click on hyphen it, you see it goes to me. Click on Amari, it goes to him. If you add more cameras, if you have different scenes that have photos or videos, that's how you can switch back and forth between a lot of different scenes. It's actually really awesome. And then as you can see, as I switch, it has a little fade to it. That's right here under the transitions. You see here it says fade or cut and then also has duration. So the duration will be for the fade. Let's say we want to make it a cut. If we click on that and now we go to me, quick cut back and forth. So you can decide if you want the scene transition to either be a cut or a fade. Now with OBS Studio, there are a lot of other things you can do to kind of make it even fancier. You can add different types of transitions. You can import a lot of different things in here. I'm not going to go over all that. For this video, I just wanted to keep it simple on how to have multiple cameras and use them either in one screen, one scene, or have them in multiple scenes so you can cut back and forth between different cameras. Now, another quick thing to note is that the audio that's being currently picked up by OBS Studio is the audio from the camera, from the HDMI feed, because the HDMI feed carries both video and audio. Now, if you want to get fancier and you want to have, let's say, a podcast and you want like mics like this hooked up into an audio mixer, then that's a whole other process. And I do have other videos on this channel that show you how to connect a mixer, whether it's a regular audio mixer or the Rodecaster Pro. I have various videos that can show you how to do that. And it'll also show you how to fix any desyncing issues with different video and audio sources. So make sure you guys check out all those other videos if you want to do podcasts or gaming, etc. And I have even more videos coming on this channel that are going to show you how to get even more detailed in many different aspects of gaming, live streaming, podcasting, etc. So there you guys have it. That's how you do a multicam setup using OBS Studio. If you guys are interested in getting any of the gear that I use, I do have links in the description where you can purchase them from either BNH Photo or Amazon. It doesn't change the price that you get it at, but it does help this channel. Please make sure to drop a like on this video. Drop a comment below if you have any questions and please make sure to subscribe. I have a lot more videos coming soon. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.